few people actually appreciate how the law of karma can entangle a person in a web of material actions and reactions. And all that has happened is that everybody gets more and more entangled in this web. It's like being in a spider's web. Sometimes seen before how an insect gets trapped in a spider's web. First it looks like it's still moving very well. But the more the insect moves and the more the insect tries to escape the spider web, the more it gets entangled. With the law of karma, it is more subtle though. It's not, so, it's not always visible. Yeah, we often don't actually see the reactions of our, to our actions happening to us right away. It, it can take place much later. And this is why some people even say they don't believe there's going to be any reactions. In other words, they, they wish or they dream that there is no price to pay. I can just do whatever I want and I'll get away with it. And at some point I'll die anyway and then it's all finished. But that's a very tragic misunderstanding. And the environment itself, for example, Mother Earth, she has, his, she has her laws also that we need to follow. So this human form of life that we're now experiencing, it's all about responsibility. Mm -hmm. How we treat others, even like how we treat this planet. If a person is acting in a pious way, they're they can be expecting some kind of good karmic reaction in the future. And if they're acting in some kind of impious way, there will be a negative karmic reaction in the future. But if a person acts responsibly and in a pleasing way to the Supreme Lord, they can actually become free from the law of karma. That is actually the goal, that we can become permanently free from this law of karma. Because otherwise, it's just like this continuous up and down pendulum with no real lasting gain.